So let me give you some examples of uh, of uh, cults. Number one, we call them the Mormons. I'll begin from very far, and then you'll discover that I'm right next to you. We have Mormons. The founder of Mormons is called Joseph Smith. Number two, I didn't mention Jehovah Witnesses. The founder is called Charles Teza Russell. Have you ever heard those names in the Bible? <laughs> but they are the founders, eh? Okay. Number three, we have what is called Christian science. And for every cult that I'm mentioning here, there are books that are added to the Bible in their readings. So we have Christian science. The founder of Christian science was a lady by the name Mary Baker Eddy. Mary Baker Eddy. Number four, the Worldwide Church of God. The Worldwide Church of God. The founder of the Worldwide Church of God is somebody by the name of Herbert W. Armstrong. Herbert W. Armstrong. Number five, we have what is called the Unification Church. The Unification Church. The founder of the Unification Church is called Sun Myung Moon. Sun Myung Moon. Sun is S U N. Myung is M Y U N G. Moon is the moon that you know. Number six. I told you I'm coming back home. Number six, we have Legion Maria or Legio Maria. Legio Maria is a cult, and I know that we have some people in here who, through ignorance, you are members. The Bible says that in the days of ignorance, God winked. Uh -huh. So you will not be punished for not knowing. God is not like uh, the laws of Kenya, which says ignorance is no defense. God is different. God will punish you for what you knew and you did not do. Not what you did not know. Amen. So Legio Maria, the founder of Legio Maria was somebody Melchio Ondeto. Now when, when Legio Maria was begun, you see, I'll, I'll talk a bit about this that, that I'm now mentioning because uh, if I talk about the Unification Church, some of those things might not make sense to you. So let me come back home. Now, Legio Maria is a, a cult that uh, is an offshoot springing from the Roman Catholic Church. Legio Maria is actually a parallel Roman Catholic Church initiated by Africans in defiance to the rule from the Pope. The Pope a human being. So another human being decides to compete him and they began what we call Legion Maria. So it's a Catholic Church uh, rival. How many of you have heard of John Pesa? John Pesa. Okay, when you leave this place and you are going to Kisumu, at, uh, is it Mamboleo where? Yes. Mamboleo Junction. We have a church there. Pesa's church broke from no mere church. When Pesa called himself Jesus, 
That is where, where, where they differed. Amen. Amen. Okay. We have what we call Dini ya Musambwa. If you are coming from Bungoma. <laughs> yesu wa Tongareni. Amen. <laughs> you you've heard stories about Yesu at Tongareni. Yeah. When he was told you say you are Jesus, <laughs> April has come. It's time for you to go to the cross. What did he do? <laughs> he disappeared. <laughs> It's easier for you to claim what you are not. But when you are asked to do what pertains to the title, then you shut up. Hallelujah. So we have Dinia Musambwa, the founder, was called Elijah Masinde. Elijah Masinde called himself Jehovah. Jehovah Wanyonyi. Unfortunately, when Jehovah Wanyonyi died, the followers believed that Jehovah Wanyonyi was going to resurrect to death. The bones are rotting in the grave. There's only one God. There's only one man who claimed to be God. And even death could not hold him. Yes. And that is Jesus Christ. Can you give Jesus Christ a hand clap? Hallelujah. There is another cult next door. And this cult is called Jerusalem Church of Christ. Mary Akasa. I know today Mary Akasa might not ring a bell in your mind because cults come and cults go. Amen? Amen. I know some of you might not place this other cult in your memory because uh, you might not have been there. We have what we call the Gilbert Dare Ministries. The Gilbert Dare Ministries in Kenya. This Gilbert Dare Ministries, and some of you might even have been named after Gilbert Dare because when he began, he began like he was a, a real servant of God. But then, scandal started appearing when we started hearing about miracle babies. When we started hearing about miracle babies, we realized that this was a cult. In fact, what these guys were doing, they were simply uh, stealing people's children and then they would take that child, say from Kenya, and that child is flown to America and is given to a family and they are told this is, these are your parents. He would pray for women. The barren women. Umejua mtu, mama kikosa mtoto. Akiambiwa lolote ataamini. He would pray for a woman. And then after two months you hear that that woman has given birth. Does it make sense? But when your thought has been captured, you will say that's a miracle. Isn't it? Now, let me tell you the reason why we are calling these cults. Why do we call them cults? Now, I want to talk about another cult. <laughs> I will, I will want to talk to you about another cult. And as I talk to you about this cult, you can 
Munaweza kujijazia wenyewe mambo mengine Si ndiyo? Munaweza kujijazia mambo mengine Because sitaki mutoke hapa mmekuazika sana <laughs> uh, We have We have this card that is called uh, Branhamism they call themselves the Branamites. Uh, this is a group. Ata ukienda pambale utakutana nayo. Branham. And uh, very prominent people are found there. Branham. Okay, so what is Branhamism? So... I will share with you what Branhamism is all about na wenyeo mtakuwa mkijaza eh mtakuwa mkijaza so the term Branhamism refers to the teachings of somebody by the name of William M. Branham born in 1909 and he died in 1965. Now, the followers of Branham prefer to call themselves Branhamites or message believers. They call themselves message believers. Now, they believe that William Branham was the final prophet to the church. They believe that he was the final prophet to the church. From 1965, another Branham came up. And this time, we call it today. Holiness and repentance. So this person that we call a war is not doing anything that is new. A war is doing exactly what the Branhamites 